Ms. Mills and uh, Mr. Mills owns the gun safe business in West Albany. And uh, the, one of the things that I like most about him already is that uh, he sits on the board of directors for National Rifle Association. And uh, I have kind of a personal interest in that because as a kid, um, I did a lot of shooting matches and things like that and spent a lot of time trying to earn NRA badges, shooting badges. And uh, so anyways, of course, I think it's a wonderful outfit and a wonderful program. And uh, I couldn't be more proud than to introduce Buzz Mills to you, candidate for governor of Arizona.
So that's what that's what I'm doing. But my, here, here, here's what really drove this whole thing home to me. And that is, I have a young gal that works for me out at the ranch. Her name is Karen. The real person. Uh, right, right, you do the payroll. So uh, it's a real person. Now she's worked for me part time for a couple of years, so that's all the work that I had. And her husband works construction. He's down to work in maybe a week out of the month now. They got two kids, and they're they're uh, seven and nine, and they, of course they go to school. And back last fall, she was lamenting the fact that they weren't going to have a big Christmas. And um, in, indeed, I'm sure they did. They're having trouble, you know, getting shoes on the kids and getting them to school. So that's a real story. That's a real person that's affected my life. And that is one of the reasons, the main reason, the biggest reason, that I jumped in this race back then is because it hit home. Nobody's doing anything. We've had, we've had a, uh, we've had a, had a Republican governor for a year, and I'm not a bit better off this year than I was last year when we had a Democrat governor. Nobody's, you know, had, has uh, issued any emergency proclamation to stop the train, let's see where we are where we're going and how we get out of it. So that's, uh, that's one of the big reasons. Now, what I see, and there's four of us out here actively working this thing, and then there's a plethora of other folks that say they want to run for government. But what I see is a, 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 one of the reasons that we're in this morass that we're in right now, that's a good word, by the way, is we lack on all levels, on all levels, state and federal, there is no confidence, there's no confidence in the government, in our leadership, in our leaders. And if we don't have confidence, then we're not going to pull out of this, this uh, low point very quickly because why would somebody invest money, build plant equipment, hire employees, hire raw materials, and not know how they're going to be treated by, by taxes down the road again? You have no way to project. So there's this, this lack of confidence, but you can't have much confidence in someone, you know, in, in the proper order, they go about spending more, taxing more, even more debt on us and our grandchildren. We've got a massive budget deficit that is a job killer. We're four four billion dollars budget deficit this year, and the legislature and the governor have not proposed any improvement in that. It's, it, it's a billion more than it was last year. We're down 300,000 jobs, and the answer we get is to raise taxes. Are we trying to catch up with California here or what? You know, last week, last week, the legislature finally referred the governor's proposal for a 20% increase in the sales tax to the ballot in May. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's only one percent. It's only a penny. Well, it depends on how you do your accounting. It's a twenty percent increase in tax. A little less, maybe eighteen. But what that amounts to is, think about it this way: if you're going to go buy a car, you're going to go buy a car, and we have a twenty percent increase in sales taxes. That's another payment. Add a payment on there. Well, regardless of the price of the car, $20,000, $30,000, $70,000, one more payment. That's what 20% tax increase does it. So you've got to, you know, you've got to keep things in perspective. Now, in my administration, we're not going to do that. We're not going to raise taxes on anybody for anything. No time. Republicans own the state. The Democrats are own Washington. They've got the executive and, and both houses of the legislature here. We've got the executive, both houses of the legislature, and we still can't get the job done. 